So the question came up, are the dipsticks the same for RAM cars as non-RAM cars? Looking at a G here, the dipstick on this one comes up in back of the carburetor and then goes on down to the cast iron transmission like normal. Now we're looking at a 300F and the transmission dipstick is just like what we saw on the G. This is the dipstick out of the black car and it measures just under three feet top to bottom. So an F dipstick And here is the F dipstick out of the white car, identical to the one in the black car. Both of these are non-air conditioned cars. Let's see if that makes a difference. Here's the uh, F dipstick, Jamie's car, which is a air conditioned. It's in the same location. Here we're looking at a 1960 New Yorker engine and frame. And here you can get a nice, clean, clear shot of the dipstick and the automatic transmission. Let's pull this dipstick out and see what it measures. Well, I didn't know that. Huge difference. The non-RAM cars, or the standard stick. what do you want to say, maybe 22 inches? But you can see the, uh, the construction is different. This is a J we're looking at, and there you can see the transmission dipstick is up in between the cylinder banks. That's probably because we're talking short rams, and also we're into an aluminum transmission. There, see it down there? There you go. And so here we're looking at the J transmission, Dipstick measure just about 22 inches overall. Now, is that the same as a standard 63? I don't know. So let's take a survey here of these engines, see what they might tell us as far as transmission dipstick tubes. This one is a K automatic. K dipstick tube, 1964 Chrysler. Overall, right around 22. There you can see how different it is than the J. The J ended up over in here 
and as most 64s, it comes up over the side. Looking at a 66, 383, and let's measure that tube. This is a 66. I'd say nearly identical, if not identical, with the 64. And here's the 64, 66, side by side. <clears throat> identical. 63 Imperial, same as the 64. 62 Chrysler 413. So it seems like once you get into the aluminum transmissions, the standard Imperial 383, 413, 62 through at least 66 seems to be the same. So here we got a G and we've got an H. Here are the two dipsticks. The one on top is the H right around 22. The one on the bottom is the G. You can see the construction is different. You see that rivet joint there and overall length. And That is an F dipstick on the top, a G dipstick on the bottom. They are identical. Coming out just about three feet.